Airport has 315,000 customers. 25% of Kentuckians. This is a Kentucky issue, not just an 18th and Broadway, not just a Jefferson County. In late February, Passport Health announced plans to suspend construction on its West Louisville headquarters. The company cited financial issues due in part to recent Medicaid reimbursement rate cuts from the state. We all know the future of Passport is super critical for our city. And when I look at the issues now between Passport and the state, there's a lot of emotions. State and city leaders gathered to talk about what Passport means to West Louisville and why it's important state and Passport leaders work to find a solution before the nonprofit agency dissolves. We're calling upon the governor to give this community preferential treatment because the community has received decades of preferential mistreatment. Congressman John Yarmouth called the cuts to Passport's Medicaid reimbursement rates unfair. Of all the managed care companies in this Commonwealth now providing managed care for Medicaid, three were granted rate increases. Only Passport was had its rates, its reimbursement rates cut. Sorry, I missed the invite. But members of the Cabinet for Health and Family Services showed up unannounced to refute those claims. If you would like to have a public hearing, and we'll bring our actuaries in, Passport can bring their actuaries in, and we'll have this discussion and go through the rate setting process and try to clarify. Cabinet Chair Adam Meyer said Passport's financial issues started before the rate changes took effect. If you look at their complaint, they lost $26 million in the, in the six months preceding that rate change. So they were already sustaining some pretty significant financial losses. Carrie Grace, WLKY News.